Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Storm Silver. This time we'll be taking on the last gym of Johto, the Blackthorn City Gym. I have the GB player on just because I haven't had it on for any of the other gyms in Johto. And other dragons. Anyway, this is one of the few times in the game when you can walk around without your Pokemon following you. Personally, I think it would have been cool if they gave you the option of either having it follow you or not having it follow you. Like, something that you could change at any time. Anyway, the gym puzzle here is, there are these things and you have to turn them and push them and whatever to get them to uh, make a path for you. Anyway, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and I have a Salamence now. Um... Um, <clears throat> I ended up keeping Shellgon until level 55, so he would learn, so she would learn Dragon Claw early, so now I have a level 55 Salamence with Dragon Claw fresh. Anyway, I gotta go heal, because I forgot that Voltecker is a glass cannon, and not something that's supposed to be switched in, but something that's supposed to come in to revenge kill. So it got one hit KO'd by Hydro Pump. So I'll be right back. Okay, back, and I just want to point something out. If you've seen possibly the last part of this playthrough, or um, part 19, I believe, of Blaze Black, I mentioned that I had some weird glitch, quote unquote, going on where, uh, oh, there's a teleporter back to the beginning, awesome, where uh, sound wouldn't play out of the left speaker. Um, turns out that I'm dumb, and, uh, because I plugged in headphones just to make sure it wasn't a hardware issue, and the sound was fine on my headphones, so I was like, okay, so maybe it's my monitor. So, uh, I... <coughs> Excuse me. I checked the audio cable, and, uh, I unplugged it and replugged it in, the one that goes from my monitor to my computer, and it works fine now, so, um, it's not actually a glitch. I love how every single version of Diamond Pro and Platinum that I played, I, uh, I ended up using a, uh, Garchomp. Okay. Well, except for Pearl and... Okay, so I didn't use one in Diamond or Pearl, but I did use one in, uh, both English and Japanese Platinum. There we go. So, anyway, Madam has been taking care of this gym quite nicely. I'm glad. Um... Okay, here's another guy. Okay, so most of these trainers only have, like, one Pokemon or two Pokemon. And it's kind of scaring me because it makes me feel like Dre's trying to say something. Like, hey, I'm, I made Claire an asshole, and I'm sorry. So I'ma just, I'ma just even the, uh, 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 listen, like, I'm just, I'm sorry. So here's, here's me making up for it by making the gym relatively easy. I'll get it eventually. There we go. Anyway, I'm not even gonna bother to go heal. Cause I'm just baller like that. Alright guys, here we go. Final Johto gym leader. It's gonna be exciting and stuff, cause it's dragons. Wait, no, no. You're not the best. You're just a gym leader. Lance is the champion. Alright, cool. Started with dragon there. So I'm gonna just ice beam all day. No sweat. I have five ice beams left and she has six Pokemon. 
so I should be able to take on most of them. Exactly five of them. Oh boy. Too bad I don't give a fuck because I am a special attacker, sir. Oh no! Yes! This is the best fucking Glaceon in the world! <clears throat> Catherine hasn't gotten that much screen time, so... Doesn't she have... she doesn't have Gyarados or something? Kingdra. Doesn't have... like... there's no Gyarados? She always has a Gyarados. Oh, there it is. That's something special for that Gyarados. called Lightball Pikachu. It's called You Have a 4X Weakness. It's called Get Fucked Up. And that was just shockingly easy. Now that's just asshole. She's the only gym leader who does this. Probably because they're just, I don't think they're allowed to. She just goes, yeah, I lose, but you don't get the gym badge because no so instead go take this other challenge that's completely unrelated and if you pass then I'll give you the gym badge and if not then uh, you know what then screw you it's like what like what wh wait hold on in what realm of bullshit does this make sense so anyway now we gotta go do some other bullshit so that we can go and yeah um, uh. Alright, so I'm gonna just, uh, oh yeah, I caught a nurse ring while I was training, I don't know why. Uh, I'll take out Gerald. First I'll take his item. Well, I guess I'll take his item in a second. There. What does Unburden do? Raise the speed if a held item is used. Hmm, that's intriguing. Anyway. Alright, so, hopefully the Elite Four will go that smoothly. And I was just speaking while trying to yawn. That's why my voice sounded like this. Anyway, let's go. Let's go take this, this hoe-ass challenge. Dragon's Man actually has cool music, so... And of course, there are trainers in the Dragon's Den, which I just remembered. <sighs> Balls. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, anyway. I don't know if you can run into wild Pokemon while walking, but... Okay, that was random. Calcium. I believe you need Whirlpool? I don't know if I have Whirlpool. I have Surf and I have Waterfall. But do I have Whirlpool is the question. I'll check right now, in fact. I do. Better teach that to Dragon Coon. When did I get it? Legitimately. I don't remember. Oh. Dragon Coon has Surf, Strength, and now Whirlpool. Surdal has Waterfall. No sweat. Hate how the surfing music, like, takes away the awesome Dragon's Den music. Okay, that is dragon-ish. I'm gonna run. Um... 
Yeah. The Dragon Sun music is just like, it's really badass. Like, I really think the, uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver remix is better than the original. Which, like, I mean, it's not hard to think that about any of the songs in the game, considering a lot of them are just 8 bit chip tunes, which, I mean, they can be cool, but it's not my preferred listening. Okay, I'll do this stuff first. Aw, oh, shucks, kid. I'm Lance-like, apparently. That's just sweet. Oh yeah, I can get rid of Surf on, uh... This other guy. Dragon Coon. And yes, I realize there's a trainer thing up there that I missed. I'll get it in a second. Oh. Yeah, that's where you're supposed to actually go. Balls. Jesus Christ, this is loud. Oh, yeah. Dragon Fang. Increases the power of dragon type moves. It's useful if you have a dr something with a dragon type move and you want it to. Do more damage with the dragon type move. Yeah. Anyway, that's the part of the shrine you're supposed to head to. I'm gonna go over here first. Okay, so not only did I accidentally stop the other recording, but that trainer fight really wasn't worth it. Okay, so now that we've wasted enough time, we can head over here and we can just, yeah. And I don't know why, but I'm really excited for Black 2. Like, I don't know, I just started thinking about it, and I was like, damn, that game's gonna be awesome, I'm gonna put it on my dick, it's gonna be great. It's a Magikarp. I'm not going to fight the Magikarp. Alright, here we are. She's something. <laughs> She's got a little more than a handful, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I don't, you, cause, cause the, and, yeah, I'm sorry. Friend. Training. Cheating is one of the answers. Which is arguably par partially true, but no. Anyone. Love. Violence being one of the choices. This game is ridiculous. Both. You are upset, madam. Wow, you're... It's literally four questions, and the answers are easy as hell to guess. <laughs> oh, oh, she has to answer the Lance. <laughs> oh, oh, strongest dragon-type trainer on my ass. And what's worse is they're cousins. They grew up together. <laughs> oh, you're just upset. Wait, what a bitch. She makes you take a test that even she can't pass. Yeah. Uh, I believe in gold, silver, in gold and silver, you can catch ho -Oh or Lugia, respectively, um, like, before Claire, maybe? I'm not positive, but, um, and I think you can catch Suicune before Claire in, uh, 
crystal, but now um, you have to beat Claire before you can catch them. Anyway, I'm not going to escape rope out because, well, I don't know if it'll affect something happening. And these Magikarps need to stay away from me. Also, there's an event Pokemon here, but we're going to have to leave and come back, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Wow, nice. <laughs> Bitch walking through walls and shit. Hello, Professor Elm. It's the Master Ball. Just to, <laughs> just to cut short any anticipation you may have had, it's the Master Ball. I'm gonna save... And I'm going to head back into the Dragon's Den to collect my reward for being awesome. Which is basically what it is. What? Why are you here? Oh, for God's sake! Okay, anyway. So, talk to, after you take the test, talk to the guy, and you get a dragon air, and it's awesome, and... If you answer the questions correctly, it will have extreme speed, and I'm almost positive that I did. Anyway, this dragon air is female, so I guess I'll name it after... Claire, because why not? I'm just really too lazy to think of a nickname. But I did spell it with an E at the end, because that's the spelling I like most. Anyway, this Dragonair comes with a Draco Plate. That's how you get the Draco Plate. If you're going for Arceus, you're going to need that, so keep that in mind. Um, Please tell me it has extreme speed. Yes! I am awesome. Extreme speed. As well as Agility, Aqua Tail, and Dragon Rush. As I said before, I do have... Up's defense if there's a status problem. Ew, Shed Skin was better. But, um, as I said before, I already have my Dragon type, so Claire will not be used. But, yeah. So anyway, we can now blow this Popsicle stand. And honestly, I'm too lazy to surf, so... Yeah, I know. So anyway, now we're going to be heading back to New Bark Town. The way I always like to go to New Bark Town is by taking the route down from Blackthorn City, because if you remember all the way back to the beginning of the game, there is a route accessible uh, right at the beginning, but you there's a ledge preventing you from going all the way up. Um, actually, that route is part of. Oh wait, no, no, hold on. I need to I need to move Dragonair. It's in the wrong box. All right, there we go. And change that box so anything I catch will go there. Anyway, um. Son, are you serious right now with this glitchy bullshit? Anyway, uh, as I was saying, that route at the beginning of the game has a ledge that prevents you from going up, which is 
I mean, it happens, because otherwise, if you could go up ledges, you'd be able to get to Blackthorn City within, like, an hour of beginning the game. Um, there's a lot of grass. Anyway, I literally cleared out this entire route. There are a lot of paths, and by the way, up there you can head to the Blackthorn City side of Dark Cave. The other side is in Violet City. But, um, I cleared out every single trainer on this route, so unfortunately this is going to be kind of boring. But there are multiple paths. I mean, there's this cool river running down, and I mean, there's like a left side, a middle side, and a right side. But, uh, there are a lot of ledges, so you end up, like, being forced down a certain path, so you have to go through it multiple times to get everything. But yeah, I had to level up, I'm sorry. But anyway, instead of flying to New Barktown, I like to go down this route, because it's really cool. It's, like, mountainous, and there aren't really that many routes I can think of in the games that are like this. This might actually be the only one. And this is another entrance to Dark Cave. Um, it's something. Dumb sparse in the picture. And I don't have Rock Smash, and I don't have Flash. So maybe I'll explore Dark Cave one day, but probably not, because, I mean, you need Flash. And no. Anyway, yeah. So, we're back at the beginning. And you can tell, because if you run into a Pokemon in this grass, you'll run into, like, level 5s. And if you run into a Pokemon in the grass above, you'll run into evolutions and, like, level 40-somethings. Cool, bro. So, yeah. Heading back to where it all began. I went down the wrong way. Yes, I'm awesome. Yeah. We won't really be using it because we don't need it because... Well, I've already explained why. Well, thank you, Lyra. I have the strangest feeling that she's about to battle me. Anyway, yeah, you gotta go to the Acritique Dance Theater. I don't know if the Lugia event is necessary, but... I, I don't know if it's, like, mandatory, but probably. I don't trust that bitch Lyra. Stab you in your own heart. Yeah, it is. Because if you try to go surf, she was like, no, no, go to that critique. I want this glorious dong, clearly. So, yeah. Head back to that critique. Unfortunately, we won't be going through Tin Tower since we're playing Storm Silver. We'll be going through Whirl Islands, which I feel is overall a lot more underwhelming. Because, I mean... This place has, like, the cool golden trees, and, like, it has a station that where you have to beat people before you can get there. It's just, like, this big tower, and Royal Islands is just another cave. That's kind of boring. But, uh, anyway, they all have evolutions, and I think I should be okay with this team. So, yeah... Rival Cox, go away. You lost to the Kimono Girls. Seven. There, there weren't seven before. There were, there were, there were five. He added two more because he's a slut. Clearly, I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive there were only five in Hard Gold and Soul Silver. They each have one evolution. Okay. So they have fire, water, and I, I, I... Look, I've got type coverage. I really don't care. Yeah, fuck it. I'm too lazy to save, so... Yeah, he added two more, because there weren't this many before. 
dirty hoe. Oh, and you have to fight them all in a row, which is awesome because now it's harder because there are two. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, so they've been connected to the story the whole time. They have their own encounter music, and they also have their own, like, splash screen. Yup. <laughs> Blackie. I'm not being racist, that is literally Umbreon's Japanese name. I wish I was kidding. Toxic Protect? Really? We're still doing this shit game? Hmm, let me see here. Check moves. What's my, what's my strongest attack stat on Chanderson? The special attack. Okay, so I am going the right way with the flamethrowers. Cool, slug. It took me this long, but I'm finally not falling for Toxic Protect anymore. See, you would think that all the kimono girls that you the all the kimono girls you see throughout the game are like the same girl, but see that makes you racist because they're not. Oh boy. I'll just take it don't matter. Just take it. Uh, it'll go with Catherine. Got that crunch action. Done. Probably one of the new ones. Yes. Dragon against grass is okay, neutral. You're dumb unless you have like quick attack or something. Even then it wouldn't matter. And what the hell is going on with this min max damage bullshit? Are we really about to do this game? Is this really what's about to happen? Really? Really? <laughs> really? Really? This is what we're about to do? Thank you, Jesus! Fucking ridiculous. And this one will have Glaceon. So I'll bring out my own Glaceon. Since she's probably going to use Ice Beam. Or Blizzard. But I have Earth Power. I thought it would be super effective. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I was thinking of Rock. Clearly she has nothing to attack me with. And it was a speed tie. 
I think. Oh well. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. She used Ice Shard. I'm done. Yeah, so that's done. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Just like two more, I think. I don't know. They've also been stalking you the whole game, clearly. Wow, Jolteon, your animation makes you look like you're having a seizure. You are a slut. Why is everything... Hold on. Oh, sorry. Why is everything living with one hit? I mean one HP. I don't get it. Oh boy. Wow, that's asshole. Alright, cool, thanks, ho. Aw, oh, this is just perfect. What the shit is going on in this game currently? I, I think I deserve an explanation for this bullshit, how... With same type attack bonus, and light ball, and super effective, and all of these multipliers, this Vaporeon somehow managed to live a Thunderbolt. That must have been, like, the least amount of damage it possibly could have done, which is bullshit because that happens to me literally all the time. Title bell. Need that so that you can go, you know, do some stuff. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. So we're done with that, and now we are free to move on and go catch Lugia. Of course, I'm going to need a good team for the World Islands. Although it shouldn't be that bad, I don't think there are any trainers. At least there shouldn't be, because it literally won't make any sense. Um, remove Channers and bring Sceptile. I'm going to... Actually, no. Just remove that slot entirely. I'm going to need Whirlpool. And, uh... I don't know. I guess this is good enough. I don't have anything that can inflict a status, so Lugia is going to be a slut and a half. Nor do I have false swipe. So yeah, fun. But hey, I've got to catch something in the game legitimately. Would I honestly just be faster to fly to Cyanwood? This is, the world islands are in the lower corner. Okay, then I didn't know that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.